Star Wars just cast their first ever transgender actor in the upcoming series, The Acolyte. Guess it's not being canceled. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here at Echo Base Network. Coach here on this one again, giving you this big update hot off the press from the direct. But before I get into that, please hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and uh, you know, share the video out. Definitely want to know what you guys think about this topic for sure. For sure. Okay, now, the Acolyte. Uh, the rumor is out that it's been canceled. It's not happening. And now today, news from the direct Star Wars has cast their first ever transgender actor in the show called The Acolyte. Let's go and check out this article. I will put the link in the description to this. Star Wars just cast its first ever transgender actor. The Walt Disney Company has made some huge strides to improve representation across the board. And the Star Wars Galaxy is no different. Last year, transgender actor and non-binary non actor Zoe Tarakis was cast... I think I'm saying that right. I, I don't know, and I don't really care. Was cast in the upcoming project Ironheart, becoming the second openly trans actor to appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe after Zach Barrick from Spider-Man Far From Home in 2019. It looks like Lucasfilm is taking notes, too. The Acolyte is set to introduce one of the most diverse casts to date and comes after the award-winning Andor starred in Star Wars' first-ever prominent lesbian couple because that's what we care about and really enjoyed about Andor. I'm going to need a sip on this one, guys. The Acolyte makes important Star Wars milestone. Uh, I don't know if that's right. We're going to go look at this person in just a moment. Bear with me. The Acolyte is shaping up to bring even more diversity to the galaxy far, far away. According to her agency, United Agents, British actress Abigail Thorne is due to play Ensign Eurus in The Acolyte, making her Star Wars first ever transgender actor in a non-minor role. Thorne joins an exclusive list of transgender actresses, who have starred in a Lucasfilm project, becoming the second ever trans actor after Talisa Garcia was cast in Willow. Abigail Thorne. Let's do this. Abigail Thorne. Oh. Uh. Uh. Ugh. This is looking great for Star Wars, let me tell you. That's sarcasm. Non-binary actor Amanda Lestenberg will also star in The Acolyte, and this means that the upcoming series is shaping up to be one of the most inclusive yet. Yay! These are huge strides for transgender representation in the Star Wars galaxy. However, for some years now, Star Wars publishing has been leading the way by introducing characters who identify outside of any gender binary. My gosh, man. Well, they're, they're not representing me. Because I'm a six foot eight African American that plays for the Boston Celtics. Despite being set before the events of the Phantom Menace, the High Republic era has been one of the most transformative elements of the Star Wars franchise, and that's why people aren't reading it, and it's garbage. It has only introduced brand new concepts, planets, and events, but also is home to a diverse array, array of new characters and breaking new ground for LGBTQIA plus representation. I mean, you could burn some calories saying that word. God dang. Back in 2021, Star Wars highlighted Tarek and Sarek in celebration of Transgender Day of Visibility. Both are non-binary Jedi who call the galaxy far, far away home. In their announcement post, they affirmed their commitment to transgender rights and broadening representation. In honor of Trans Day of Visibility, we're proud to unveil an exclusive cover highlighting Tarek and Sarek, or Sarek, sorry, Trans non-binary Jedi. Well, they're getting off topic now. I, why Star Wars is for everyone in a galaxy full of aliens and sentient human beings, species. Should a transgender person be where the line is drawn? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Last year, the company's non-ousted CEO, Bob Chapek, 
sparked a staff revolt when he refused to condemn Florida's don't say gay bill following the CEO's dismissal from the company. Bob Iger has reappointed to the position. Since his reappointment, Iger has tried to double down on inclusiv- inclusivity in the company. During a recent shareholder meeting, he reaffirmed Disney's mission to entail all types of families all over the world when he faced criticism for agenda-driven content. The world has become increasingly hostile to transgender people and others who challenge traditional gender norms. All right, so here's the thing. I'm not being uh, hostile towards this person because they think they're something they're not. I'm not being hostile towards this person. I'm not being hostile towards anybody, but I am absolutely sick and tired of Disney and now Star Wars giving us this crap. Like, stop it. You are killing, you are killing entertainment for the majority of the world. You're just going to continue to lose money. It's not going to go your way. On a different note, I thought the Acolyte was being canceled. So let's go over to the IMDB and look here. You know, I, you know, I, I listen to the rumors and we talk about them occasionally on live streams and stuff. So here's the Acolyte IMDB. And uh, we're looking for this person that they just named, this Allie. Uh, don't see him anywhere, her, whatever. Uh Maybe they're down here. Oh, no. No, that, man, that, whoa, what a sea of people. Oh, my gosh. Golly. This has more deaths than the people at D-Day. Like, look. Wow. Look at all of these people. My gosh, at the amount of cast and crew involved in the series called The Acolyte. I do not think it's being canceled. Uh, it just stands to reason. That's a whole lot of jobs. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. I, maybe I'm wrong. I, I will tell you this. It is quite uh, a, a interesting position. I, I want the show to come out so I can cover it and, and call it exactly what it is, what it's going to be. It's going to be a hot, trash, garbage show. 100%. And I will watch it and I will laugh. <laughs> because I'm going to call it what it is. But at the same time, I kind of hope the rumors are true that this show is being soft canceled and that it's never going to come out. It's never going to be released. That would be a, a win for uh, normal folk. So, anyways. I don't know, guys. What a mess this all is. I am so tired. It's like every day Hey, there's something new about this whole agenda. And Star Wars has their first ever trans character. Come on, man. Keep that out. Like, do people, would people like that exist in the Star Wars galaxy? Yes. Okay. They would have every kind of person imaginable in a galaxy. I'm sure there's going to be some people who were not quite right in the head. That, yeah. That's definitely a a fair point. Fair point. So that's why we should have it in Star Wars, right? Because it's like the real world when I thought that this was supposed to be escapism. You know, this, this doesn't supposed to be like what we have to live through every day seeing this hot garbage. So that's my take. I don't know, guys. This is, uh, I'm getting really tired of this. Just going to be honest. Getting really tired of it. But anyways... Your comments crack me up, so please give us a comment. Thank you for being here at Echo Base Network. We're, we do two things. We demand that Lucasfilm returns the greatness of Star Wars, which they're not even close to doing right now. And two, we're not just a Star Wars channel. We're a We Hate Kathleen Kennedy channel. Thanks for coming. We are you, our Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you. I'll see you on the next one.